Hey y'all, this is a really quick lesson on scatter plots and how to determine if a scatter plot has a linear pattern or not. So before you can even write a regression equation, you have to determine if the data is going in a linear pattern, a linear behavior. So even if it's up or down, um, as long as it's linear, then you can write your equation. So I just want to show you a couple pictures of uh, scatter plots and then kind of show you the difference between ones that are linear and ones that are not linear. You can see on my left, I have a couple pictures of scatter plots and we are looking at them to, dis to see if they're linear or not. So some of them are pretty obvious, but some of them may not be. Um, now all of these, you can draw a line through them. So any of these, really, you can draw a line through them. The issue is whether the line, when it, whether a linear function is suitable or not. So I could draw a line through here, and it does go through some of the points. But really, it's not linear. It has definite curvature to it. So this would not be a linear pattern. This would be a nonlinear pattern. Same with this one. Uh, it's not, it's more of a circle. It's clustered in the middle, so it's it's not necessarily linear. And then this also has some definite curvature, might be more of like an exponential type thing. This may be more of a quadratic type thing, which indicates nonlinear. Now, this doesn't follow an exact line. But if we were to draw a circle around the data, it does have a linear trend. And that's what we're really looking for, a trend, an overall trend. So this one is good for a linear pattern, a linear trend. This down here is really good. Look how nice all of this follows. We have a, a couple that are a little out of line there, but for the most part, if we were to circle the majority of our data, it follows a linear trend. So this one's good. And then this one is a little more spread out, but if I were to circle the majority of the data, it does follow that trend. So this one is good also. So your data may not look exactly like a line, but as long as it follows a linear trend, whether it's going up or going down, all of these were positive slopes, but it could be uh, going down also. As long as it has a, a linear pattern, linear behavior, linear trend, whatever, um, even though it may not look exactly like a line, if the majority of your data points are all going in the same direction, then it's a you can proceed into writing a linear equation, a linear regression equation. If a scatter plot is nonlinear, is it reasonable to compute a linear regression equation for the data set? The answer is no. A linear equation would not be a good fit for a nonlinear scatter plot. So that's all I wanted to show you in this lesson. I hope it helped clarify some things. If you have any questions, please let me know and I would be happy to help.